So today I'm gonna do an oil uh, change on this uh, Cub Cadet. It's the ZTS-1 steering wheel, zero turn. Has the Cola motor. It's got the oil tube runs out the back. Oil filters on this side, down up in this, this area here. I have my oil drain pan. And the tools I'm gonna use here are gonna be a half inch open end, box end wrench with a 12 point on the other side, a crescent wrench and a pair of oil filter pliers. It's supposed to be a two quart capacity. So I got two quarts of oil and I have a cola oil filter. And I'll try to get that part number in there for you. 12050001S1. This is what I'm gonna try to do it with. And if I need to change tools, I'll let you know throughout the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kick this, this oil drain pan up underneath here. Get that in the area where I think it needs to be. I did, uh, I did start the lawnmower up and run it for a little bit, not too long couple of minutes or whatever just kind of warm the oil up see if I can get this crescent wrench on here all right and then the 12 point fits over it has a square plug so it fits on that square plug pretty good that's why I was recommending the, the 12 point. Looks like there's a little thread sealant on this uh, on this plug, kind of reddish in color. All right, got success. So crescent wrench. And the 12 point works pretty good on that. Set my plug off to the side. Set my tools off to the side. Let that drain for a little bit down into the oil pan. Pretty decent size oil pan. It does fit underneath the lawnmower where that oil drain is so that's a plus because I've had some where you couldn't even get the, a bigger oil pan like this underneath that oil coming out of there it's kind of hard for you guys to see on camera I'm sure I mean it's it looks brand new clean they recommended I guess they're using a break-in oil or I'm not sure exactly why but I'm a little late on it, but they recommend it, so I'm doing it anyway. On this side, where the oil filter is, if you can see down in there, I put a oil absorbent pad that I had underneath the oil filter to maybe catch any oil that spills out of the oil filter when I remove it. So, I have the oil drain and I'm going to pull the, the dipstick up a little bit, maybe allow a little air into the system, maybe let that oil come out of there. So, I'm going to let that guy drain for a little bit. And I'll start the video back up shortly. So here I have the oil filter and the oil 
And what Cola recommends is they recommend that you take the, uh, the oil filter and you add a little oil to it. I guess the prime to filter with. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I mean, I've changed plenty of oil. I don't normally do this, but they recommend it, so why not? So I'll put a little oil in there. And I think that the oil filter is gonna absorb the oil so that it doesn't spill. Let that oil sit in there, and it does. It 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 absorbs it pretty good. Put a little bit more, and I think I'm gonna stop right there. But that oil, it's kind of hard to see in there, but it it goes into the filter and it absorbs it just to kind of prime the prime the filter wet. And then I'm going to take a little bit of oil on my finger. I'm going to rub it around this gasket. Loop that up a little bit. Maybe do a little bit more. So now I have the oil filter ready to go. And we'll move on to the next step. All right, so we're back over here. Yeah, it's kind of looking like we uh, finished draining. So that's good. Now we'll have a look at uh, getting the oil filter off. All right, I'm sure this thing is not going to come off by hand. I'll give it a try anyway now. Let's see if I can get these pliers in here. Pretty easily, hopefully. Still kind of tight. Go a little bit more with these pliers. All right, let's see if I can get this done with spilling the least amount, the least amount of oil as possible. So I have my little pad underneath there. I can see the oil coming out. I'm trying to unscrew it as quickly as I can. I don't want to get oil everywhere, but I got it off. Set the oil filter to the side. Grab the new oil filter. Get that new oil filter on there. Stop all of the leaking. Pull that pad out the way, and I will tell you that the pad did a wonderful job. I have zero oil. I might have a little drop, but I say zero oil everywhere. I'm gonna put this oil filter on, I'm gonna screw it on by hand. I like to kind of get a little, I like to get a little tighter than, all right. So I'm gonna say that's it for the oil filter. Oil filter's on, ready to go. All right, so I do have the, I do have the oil filter on. 
This is a little bit of oil over here on the side, which was spilt, not much, very little. And I have another drop right, right there. So I would have to say, kind of hard to keep this camera while I'm trying to do it, set like I need it, but I would have to say oil, absorbent pad did its job so I would recommend the oil absorbent pad this is the pad here it pretty much took all of the oil that was put on it which really wasn't that much uh, that's the old oil filter it did have a little bit of oil you can kind of see that oil looks clean 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 but yeah, so guys, get a get an oil absorbent pad. It'll make it to where you hardly spill any oil. You just gotta make sure you don't drop the filter when you take it off because that would probably turn into a different situation. All right, so I'm back over on this side. and try to get this uh, little drain plug put back in. So this might be a little easier if you had a 12 point socket with a ratchet, uh, maybe a gear wrench, but it's not bad like this either. Not bad at all. All right. Now I got the plug back in. I don't know if y'all like me, but I don't like oil everywhere. I like to clean up the oil. It seems like the grass s sticks to it and it just turns into a big mess on you. But yeah, so that's done. Pull my drain pan out of the way. Now we're gonna go ahead and try to get it filled up. So I'm back up here on the top of the motor. Go ahead and pull my dipstick out. Set that off to the side. I do have a funnel. You can probably get in there without a funnel. Like I said, I really don't like to get oil everywhere. So I do my best not to. It does say in the owner's manual that this thing takes a two quart capacity of oil. It puts some in the oil filter. one quart in all right I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of the other quart that I used early I don't know if I'm gonna put the whole thing it might stop a little uh Stop a little early with this. 
so that leaves me about I left about uh, I'm gonna go a little bit more I feel pretty good that it's gonna be two quarts I left a little bit less than a quarter of a quart in the in the bottle. Let me move over here, set my funnel down for a second. See if I can check the oil just to see where it's at. I'm not on perfectly level ground, but let's uh, let's give a quick check. It's gonna, it's gonna take the two quarts already now. So let me go ahead and add the other quart in and it's probably gonna put me right where I need to be. Should've probably just did that from the, from the beginning, but I just wanted to make sure I didn't overfill it. Two quarts. Two quarts in. And I'll check it one more time. See where we at. so that's it guys got the oil changed it took exactly two quarts probably could be done 15 minutes probably something like that it really didn't take that long longest part was letting oil drain out so yeah nice easy access to everything the uh the oil absorbing pad did come in handy so let me know what you think about the video Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.